Okay, gentlemen, thank you for waiting uh, this setup. Um, I'm happy to be here to present to you um, the Collabora Online um, that is based on LibreOffice Online. I, I was expecting to have, uh, it's, it's an introductory text and introductory presentation. I see a lot of developers, some of my, of my colleagues, so uh, <laughs> uh, if anything goes wrong, I have the support here. <laughs> But basically, the idea is, is just a simple uh, introduction to this uh, software that we are developing in Collabora, and uh, to give you a glimpse on what are we preparing in terms of uh, LibreOffice Online. Okay. And. Okay, so basically, uh, the idea, as I said, is, was to make a small, a short demonstration of the uh, features that we have already implemented. So basically, what we have here is an, an, an installation of on cloud with the files that you that you have in your space area, and if if you want to. Uh, edit or display one of the uh, files inside the, col uh, the Collabora online. You just click on it. I will click on this file here. And then we have Google Chrome is really sometimes boring. So what you see here is a presentation in Collabora uh, online. And you can have, you have the the right pane with this, the thumbnails. You have your main edit area. You have a toolbar on the top. And you have also some, some status bar on the bottom. And then you can either edit your presentation or run it your presentation. I will just show you to the presentation as it is. It is basically about Collabora Online, LibreOffice Online. And this is running into one of our servers. And you saw the transition of the slides. So we have some implementations of the transitions. And when you just hit your click on the mouse, there is the presentation. OK, so it takes the full screen. It's the same rendering as the desktop. So you have a quite faithful uh, reproduction of your application. Why is it so? Because, of course, LibreOffice is running behind all this interface for the web that we have. Okay? So basically, this is uh, what we have. Um, Collabora uh, productivity is, as you know, the um, version produced by Collabora of LibreOffice. And then what we have basically in terms of uh, the company, we, we are the leaders in open source consulting. We have more than nine years and 80 collaborators. Uh, we formed the Collabora Productivity Division uh, three years ago, dedicated to Enterprise LibreOffice, and we provide level three support for code issues and uh, to clients, including some of the customers. And we have the architects of, of Microsoft OpenXML filters and for Android and online, OK? This is the commercial part. Uh, but what we have so shortly in terms of LibreOffice Online, we have Writer, Calc, and Impress applications uh, with full content edition of Microsoft format and ODF formats. And we have also Collabor Collaborative editing, collaborative editing, which means uh, at the time of this presentation, we have one editor and multiple viewers. Okay. Later on, um, in, in short time, we will have the possibility of having multiple editors. Okay. Well, so this is uh, what we have. I will now show you how we 
uh, work with uh, Collabora Online. Okay, so I will escape from this mode and turn out into the edit mode of the application. So, what is the interface? We have, as I said, these thumbnails on the right, on the left. We have on, on the bottom here some uh, four icons, which means icons for uh, presentation to add a new slide, to duplicate a slide, and to remove a slide. So if I want to duplicate, duplicate the introductory slide, then I have now two slides with the same content, okay? And of course, I can select it here and then remove by clicking this, this um, uh, button. Uh, of course, uh, Collabora uh, Online detects the, the, the local of your browser. And for one reason, I don't know, this is in Portuguese because possibly my account in OnCloud is in Portuguese, so I have the message in Portuguese, okay? So I can delete it here. And there we go, we have uh, deleted a slide. Also, basically what we can also do is, is of course, uh, edit the content. So I can here, oops, sorry, edit contents. And now I can type whatever text I want and you will automatically um, store it in, in, in your, your file. So I can type whatever I want, and you see the response time is quite good for the keyboard because this is being uh, sent to the server and back to the browser. Okay, it's not a local um, edition. And also, you have uh, seen in, in other presentation that Actually, this area here where the slide is, is, uh, is, a, is um, uh, an image. And uh, whatever I touch, we touch and we edit, this image is divided into tiles. Each modified tile is uh, uh, validated or invalidated and is refreshed by the underlying system in the server. Okay. You correct me if I'm wrong, eh, guys. Uh, I use my layman <laughs> terms. <laughs> okay, so here is a for edition. You can, of course, use one of the top buttons and, um, and uh, list box to display your, to, to modify your text. Okay, so you can also, for example, do what you do in your desktop. You can select text. Right, and you have these two handles to make it sure that you can grab visually what you are selecting, and you can change with direct editing. You can put into italic, you can change colors. Just doing some exercise here to, uh, for example, I may, I may put this background. Okay, so I have full direct edition of the text. I also can change, of course, the size of the font and also the, the font itself and make alignments and other things. I also can, uh, with, because the, the screen is a bit short, so I have a continuation button here. I have further, uh, I have others commands. I can insert images. And I can also uh, make some alignments and uh, create a table, okay? To help me to control visualization, I can also use the zooming, okay? We have a zooming uh, possibility here, so I will just click a bit, and you can see how the tiles are redrawn to uh, accommodate the amount of enlargement that you want, right? So this is very smooth in 
to, to use and very nice also. So you can shrink your presentation and your slide if you want, or you can also click here and restore to 100% of editing, right? So it's pretty nice, very effective, and you can do a lot of things with all the implementation done so far, okay? Uh, I'd, I'd like to show you also how is uh, spreadsheet rendered. And uh, so I will close this presentation and I will open a spreadsheet, right? Here we are. I'm closing it and I'm opening a spreadsheet. So here, here we are in terms of, uh, of, of rendering. Let me just take this chair elsewhere. I don't. So basically, uh, you can do a lot of uh, um, other uh, edition. You will recognize that you have on the top a formula bar. So if I click on a cell, okay, I, I click on a cell, I get the formula that is in the cell in the formula bar for, for the edition, right? This, this layout is exactly the layout that I have in my desktop version of LibreOffice and the same kind of edition I can also do. For example, now, for, because it's a spreadsheet, I can change uh, the currency, remove the currency symbol. We, have, we can change the percentage, uh, percentage uh, the number of uh, leading and uh, zeros, or trading zeros, okay? So all this uh, kind of edition is, uh, is uh, immediately available uh, for, e uh, for, for a cell. And also you can do selection, okay? Selection of cells. And here we are with, oops, because it's a, com it's a combination. Let me take another sample. So I can select cells this way and apply commands into the selection. Right? In our uh, status bar, we reproduce some of the uh, information that we have in the desktop. And we can do a lot of things. For example, if there is here uh, the number of, uh, of, spread of uh, sheets, the number of col columns and lines and rows selected, the kind of selection. Also, we implemented a nice feature available on the desktop which is what to do with the numbers that you selected. So currently, by default, it's a sum, but you can have all the other operations if you want, right? We also can, can, can activate the zooming. Uh, I can here shrink a little bit and also restore to 100%. And I also have one search bar here that allows me to locate specific string, okay? That's too easy, no? Is anybody using spreadsheets? <laughs> or, <laughs> okay. I, uh, what you can do this, I put this uh, uh, yellow box here, what you can do with, with uh, uh, the current version. Row and column size and adjustment is uh, already available, but in the next uh, update that we'll do, we can uh, insert and remove columns. For example, here, I can with this, the button, with the uh, context menu of the, we can insert a column before. So I have now shifted everything because I inserted a column. I can also delete a column. And the same for rows, okay? I can uh, do selection of, of uh, data with cut, paste, and uh, copy. Also do formatting, formula edition, zoom adjustment for few view full view screen. This is, uh, I can increase here. 
if you want more detail on your zooming, right? And also do and redo, undo, redo, insert image, insert and view and hide comments. For example, I have comments in this spreadsheet. Okay, so the context menu here, the context menu here detects an, an, uh, a comment and I can show the comment here, sorry, here. Here is the comment on the cell E or F2, right? Pretty effective. Uh, that kind of implementation address a lot of use of simple use of a, uh, spreadsheets. And of course, as soon as the product is evolving, we will have more and more functions. But of course, we need customers that ask for that, okay? Customers are very important. So we, sh we are able to display more than one uh, spreadsheet. And this is a file that you can ob obviously uh, <laughs> upload from your desktop and use in the online edition, right? Very well. We have also in all the modules the possibility to save, to print, and to save as if you want to or, or, or download you can download the, the 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 file as a pdf you can download as uh, odf or microsoft format this, these are the three formats that we are using at the moment and it it covers perhaps 95 99 percent of all the customers demand right okay Any questions? No, no questions. When the feature XYZ will be implemented? Is, 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 is what? Yes. How do we? With the editing on on, 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 on slow, slow connections. Connection, yes, because well, I um, I live in Brazil. Uh, when I I use Collabora online. I really don't see absolutely nothing disturbing in terms of delays. Okay. Uh, I have the same, what you see here is the same I see almost in the other side of the world. So, of course, my connection may be fast, but uh, uh, the connection is not actually the, total, the main issue for the time being. Okay. But of course, if we have a slow modem, no, there's no yeah, way. Be, because in Egypt, most people are running less than 500 kilobytes per second connections. How much? F 500 kilobytes per second. Less than that, most people are not sure. Yeah. Um, that's something that uh, we, we optimize it quite a lot. Uh, we spent a lot of energy optimizing the way to refresh the tiles, to optimize the to send only the necessary tiles to be updated, but we cannot go further with a very slow uh, network. That's, that's an issue, of course, but it's an issue for Google Docs and for other, other solutions that are on the cloud, right? Uh, <laughs> not, not sure if I... Michael, may you, maybe you want to... So yeah, we, we require something like 100 kilobits per person per second. Um, so 10 kilobytes a second per person. So you know, 100 people on a, a t uh, well, 100, uh, 1,000 people on a 10 megabit connection. 100 people on 10 megabit connection, something like this. So uh, you know, I, I think in terms of uh, you know, realistic uh, use, that's that's quite a high bandwidth rate. If you look at NX, they're uh, arguing that they're 20 kilobits. So I think there's significant room for improvement. And we have some pretty funky ideas to do that to reduce the bandwidth. But it's good to have a product that you can ship that's very useful for a subset, uh, and then you can optimize it. Uh, so you know, there's, there's just huge amounts we can do. And if you're interested, you know, we, there's a whole lot of good text, text things that we want to be doing. Um, the joy of the bitmaps are that, of course, you have your full text layout, all your shaping, all of your complex text, all of your you know, Arabic, uh, Thai, Northern, whatever. Martin, shoot. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Asking about high latency, like 0.4 seconds. Yeah, so high, high latency is also a problem just because of the way it's done. But again, as we start to move text rendering into the client and uh, glyph stamping into the client, I hope we'll be able to hide a lot of that by letting you appear to carry on typing in some way. But I mean, ultimately, each character you press can relay out the thing. So yes, it's on the roadmap. We're aware of it at the moment with a 0.4. You know, <laughs> we're looking at a 150 millisecond sort of, you know, to, to get something reasonable. Make sense? Did that help, Olivia? Yeah, I Did it answer so. your, your, your question, Khaled? Yeah. Cool. So uh, time is running. Uh, I have, uh, I'm showing you uh, what is the rendering of a document in, 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 uh, in the uh, online, uh, Collabora Online. So you see exactly the exact layout that you have on your desktop. We, uh, we, you see that we have comments. And uh, if I, uh, just to make sure, if I want to type something, you will see how is, it is fast and it is updated. Sometimes you see the uh, image, the, the, the refresh to be a, a bit uh, a shuffling, you know, but this is the sending and receiving of updated tiles, okay? Um, uh, so basically, uh, what I would like to show you, uh, let me see if I can uh, show you, is to, is to display two sessions, okay, and uh, see, oops. So just uh, to put uh, the two side by side. And then when you, one is the editor, this the, the piece on the, uh, the part on the left, on the right here, sorry, on the left is, is editing. So I can insert text here and you will see how, oh, there is a bit. Okay, and you see here how you have the edition displayed on both sessions, okay? These are separate sessions. One is a, um, is a session that is um, in a private mode and the other one is normal. So I really have two access, different access on the same document, okay? So this is what I wanted to show to you. Uh, what is being cooked by Collabora, and uh, we, we will have very soon some new implementations, and everything is available. Uh, all the development of LibreOffice Online is done uh, within the TDF um, infrastructure. I mean, the repository, the commits are all in, in TDF, okay? Questions? No questions. Yes. Good. My question is: uh, Is there an estimate? Uh, thank you. Uh, is there an estimate which infrastructure should I use if I have a company with, say, ten people, hundred people, thousand people? Oh, this this kind of value is uh, still being evaluated. Uh, we, our engineers, of course, have uh, uh, um, some ideas about that, but, um, well, everything is being um, um, measured and, and monitored, but I don't have myself numbers. Maybe uh, the team of Collabora can give better numbers. of network. So I'll say that again. <laughs> uh, we need uh, 10 users per CPU thread. 
So if you consider your laptop there probably has four threads, so that's 40 people. And 100 megabytes of RAM, your laptop there probably has easily enough RAM for that. And uh, 100 kilobits, and again, you know, you probably have a gigabit network connection in your laptop. So, you know, any small company should be able to run this off commodity hardware. That's, that's the thing. Any further questions? Over there. Yeah. <laughs> you may close if you want. Can I have two different views of the same uh, document in the two windows? So. For example, uh, on, on one side is uh, the, the annotations displayed, on the other not. Or as in comments versus not comments. So two different views of the same document? Currently not. Um, so you, you have to see those for all of them. Yeah. Um, that, that obviously means that you render the view once, which saves quite a lot of time. Um, so there are some compromises like that that make things much quicker. Possibly Ash will uh, you know, <laughs> say something like that. Um, yeah, makes sense. Okay. Well, thank you, the guys, for the attention, and uh, let's see if next week we come up with much more. <laughs> <laughs>